A lot of people think that you can just count those layers in, in the ice core like we count tree rings. Is that true or not true? In the upper part of the core, you can count the layers. But when you get down further where they've thinned so greatly and there's such an incredible difficulty in interpreting all the various information, you cannot count them hmm. as individual rings, particularly visually. And even the chemical compositions and the oxygen 18, 16 ratios and so on, there's a tremendous controversy on that. So basically you can estimate it for one uh, ice age, but it doesn't go back to hundreds of thousands of years, and you cannot count them as annual layers. There's too much difficulty in interpreting the record. So it seems we have some real differences in the assumptions associated with how we count uh, those layers. Well, if you had a uh, considerable amount of precipitation following the Genesis flood, you would have had a lot more precipitation than is normally assumed. Down in the middle of the core, things get so thin that you can't really interpret it correctly. The, the amplitude from the oxygen 18, 16 ratios are almost impossible to interpret in terms of annual layers. Uh -huh. And in fact, uh, these layers uh, can be easily interpreted as storm layers, not annual uh -huh. layers. So that uh, if you assume that, say, you had a storm every three days, you would have 120 of those layers in one year, not just one layer. And so uh, these interpretations are very inaccurate. And so you can't assume that in each individual layer is an annual layer. It's not hundreds of thousands of years. It could be just a few thousand years. Hmm. 